Hello everyone, welcome back to our class in Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning and Finance. In this short video, we are going to have a look at convolutional neural networks, which are a specialized kind of neural networks of the single and multi-layer perceptron we've already seen, and they are used for processing data with a grid-like topology, very famously used for images. Um, actually, this is frequently used in business um, and also in finance when looking at um, images, um, for example, to identify uh, characters, numbers, um, can be actually used for very simple applications if you want uh, to read and uh, read into your computer um, receipts um, or any other type of handwritten uh, information. And they have been tremendously successful in practical applications. Um, so let's have a look at these. Now, why are they called convolutional? It indicates that the CNNs use a mathematical operation called convolution, which is a specialized kind of linear operation. Now, we don't need to go into the details um, of what a convolution is in mathematics, but they are neural networks that use convolution instead of general matrix multiplication like in the single layer or multi-layer perceptron. Remember that actually it is the single and the multi-layer perceptron, in a sense, if you leave out the sigmoid function, um, if you only look at the first layer, for example, and then uh, later on on how the hidden units are combined, these are linear operations, and they are linearly um, combined to yield the output signals. Now, these are linear operations, and if you've taken a basic introduction to linear algebra, you know that linear operations are, are equivalent um, in a special way to matrices. So actually, what we are doing in the single and multi-layer perceptrons are matrix multiplications, and here we use a convolution instead of the matrix multiplication in at least one of their layers. So this is a CNN. Uh, what are we doing? Actually, you have to think about this. Think about, um, and we'll start um, with a very simple uh, image uh, that is not even an image, it's simply a grid of numbers. Uh, think about this grid, uh, this is um, the source um, and the image that we want um, to transform. Now what we are doing is, uh, look at these numbers 00011102 and we are using uh, these nine pixels and we are transforming these nine pixels according to the convolution. We are using the convolution kernel and what happens is you count these nine pixels out. Um, now the center element of the kernel is placed over the source pixel. The source pixel is then replaced with a weighted sum of itself and nearby pixels. You can see the calculation here. We don't need to go through all these. And what happens is then we get minus eight and then we reduce all this to minus eight. And this is the new pixel value in the destination. And we leave out all this as um, information. And what we do next is we shift these uh, this convolution kernel to the right and to the right and to the right. We use nine pixels and calculate the one here and the one here and the one here. And you can see that in each dimension, so if actually we go through here, we are actually losing two pixels. So we don't get this and we can get this. So actually we start here at the minus eight, go through these and then we fill out all these um, boxes and pixels in the middle. So this is the convolution, very, very simplified. And what happens is, actually the convolution kernels are also often referred to as filters because uh, depending on what kind of filter, what convolution you're using, uh, you um, are extracting a different specific feature. For example, here in this feature extraction, um, we are trying to detect edges. So for example, you can see that here, let me highlight this where we are here. You see that we have one color coming in from here and then suddenly we have a much different color at this edge and we are trying to detect these edges. We are not concentrating on colors, only on edges. And if you apply this feature extraction, this convolution kernel here for edge detection, 
what you get is this picture. And you have one filter, one convolution that extracts the edges of this picture. This is one layer of information we get and we can do many filters, we can apply many filters to this picture, um, extract different features and then later on learn from this. So typically many different filters are used in each layer of a convolutional neural network in parallel because this again needs some time and this is done to extract different features at the same time and as a result the output of a convolutional layer has the structure of a cuboid and then you get many different multiple filters and then you can recombine them to get a full idea of what the picture looks like and then train your neural network. Now some further architectural components and considerations like for example pooling layers they will be covered later on in the application and we have an extensive treatment in the Goodfellow, Bengio and Kurville uh, textbook. You can also find information on other network architectures, recurrent neural networks. Um, these are way beyond the scope of this lecture um, but we will see uh, but the multi-layer perceptron, uh, which is again the simple extension of the single layer perceptron with more hidden layers, but also the convolutional neural network in the application. You now have a basic understanding of what a CNN and a multi-layer perceptron are. And for the details, you can look this up, but it's very simple to use these models in R and we'll see this in the application.